for our Spanish Fork Dog Park again? Yeah. Loose. Let's go, Pixie. Oh boy. It's your friend. Come on. Pixie, come. All the way in. Hey. Back up, guys. Back up. Back up. Hey. Gosh dang it. Pixie, come. Pixie, come. Go on, buddy. Go play. Go play. Pixie, come. Come on. Back up. Go. Go. Oh. Sorry, honey. You okay? Thanks. This one's always on top of her, so she was trying to get away. You okay, Pixie? Come here. Hey. You're good. Come here. You're okay. That's this one. He's pretty, uh, he's not aggressive, but he's, well, he's aggressive. He's not aggr aggressive in a harmful way, but he's, he's just he likes to hump and, he's, yeah. He's learning, huh? That's why it took me a minute to get in, because she didn't want to come in by him. Hey, Chris! <laughs> you, want, you want him off? No, he's okay. okay. I'm just giving him a minute. Okay. Thank you. That's really nice of you. You're welcome. Okay, are you ready? Okay, you're all right. You're all right. Good boy. You're all right. He will try to dominate quickly, though, so you know. <laughs> No, he's being good. That's good. He's not mine, by the way. She's mine, but yeah. as you saw. You just know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Regulars at the dog park. Hi, Pixie. <laughs> You're right. Come here. You good? You good? Being shy? Huh? Play, Pixie. Yeah. Hello again, guys. Good, how are you? Right on. It's beautiful weather. Got a couple more days of it, and then it's back to rain and snow for the next week. Like, there's like a two or three days of like rain and or snow, and then a day off, but it's still mostly cloudy, and then a couple more days of rain or snow. You know, it's, it's still winter or early spring in Utah, whatever it is. That, uh, it was funny that, uh, is it the Alaskan Molly Mute, the one with the with the with the vest on? He was here last time we were here. Uh, yeah. Our Siberian Husky, I always get him mixed up. Black one with the white spots. He has a vest on. I don't know where he's at now. Anyway, he was he likes to hump her and he's very dominant with most dogs. <laughs> but um he uh how old is he again? Mine? Yeah. Mine's a year eighteen months, year and a half. 
But the one I was talking about, I was kind of worried. Hi, you just wanted to sniff me? No, no return. I wonder if they left or he snuck out. I didn't see him, Chris. Oh yeah, that one in the corner. <laughs> so she was, he was right by the gate. Pixie wasn't feeling it. She backed off her leash and I got her on a choke collar. And so I went back in, took her off the leash and then the, more dogs crowded the entryway. So then I had to kind of like grab her and push her forward. But where I grabbed her was like right here and kind of hurt her a little bit. Winch, so I apologize. And, but I got her in and so out of the way. So her other dogs, would, you know, come and go. And their dog, the other dog that came out there where they didn't escape. So that was, that was the goal. She's weird. Some days she's fine. She wants to come in, no problem. And other days she's like, yeah. no, not well, feeling it. Just like people, I guess. She's kind of like that. Yeah. Sometimes you're just forcing around. Yeah. yeah, that's what I did. But I didn't mean to. <laughs> the way I grabbed her was like right here. And so it kind of, that's not a good spot to grab them, I guess. I should have grabbed her on the scruff, like fire, like on the sides of her legs instead of the back or the underneath. Words. <laughs> Summertime, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, I bet. I wonder how well the grass does. If it dies, it gets killed by the sun and the dogs. You know, getting used to one of the noises, like of the reef bag, for instance, instead of being like, being like, okay, I'm used to that. Hi, Pixie. Want to say hi to the baby? How you doing? Pixie, come. Pixie, come here. Are your strokes flooring? Hi. Oops. Hey, behave. Behave. Hey, behave. He's not mine, but he tends to dominate, and I'm used to dealing with him with my dog. Hey, go play over there. Come here, Babs. Babs, come here. Come on, go play. Go play. Go play. What's up, Chris? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Sorry, names. First name? Drew. Drew, thank you. Yeah, I watched the video recently. That's how I remembered your oh, name. Okay. <laughs> I cheated a little bit. <laughs> You're working on a recall with a long lead or what? We're trying. And he's been doing pretty good, except for Oh, okay. <laughs> Making sure everything's okay, Pixie. <laughs> Which dog is y'all's, by the way? Um, the white one. And the oh, cool. And that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this one's the possessive one. Yeah. Oh, just making sure other dogs weren't getting in the way or bothering your baby if they if it came down to <laughs> which dog to pull away. How you doing? Good, you? Good thanks. <laughs> Are you trying to play with that one and she 
doesn't want to play with you. Hi. She's usually good at because she's not like too up in their face. She's usually good at getting dogs to play with her, but I guess your dog's just not feeling it yet, huh? Is yours the one in the light green? Oh, yeah, my dog. the beagle, yeah. Oh, she's a walker hound. Oh, okay. Looks like a beagle. <laughs> I guess a little little uh, slimmer in the head, or yeah, got somebody slopper all over already. Might be mine. Mine seems to slopper a lot, being a big dog. How'd you play? Well, now mine's going to run. <laughs> That's the game they play, right? Back and forth. The big one's mine in the pink collar. Thanks. Yeah, she's good at getting dogs to play. And she, she's not too on top of them. Caucasian of Charka, also known as a Caucasian Shepherd or Russian Bear Dog. Thanks. They were used as livestock guardian dogs, and then the Russians used them as prison dogs and guard dogs. They get pretty big. I I think one of them came. I don't know if it was the same breed, but it came here was like, like six months ago, like 150 pounds. Yeah, her mom weighs 180, and, and her dad weighs 200. So oh she's about 80 something right now. How, wait, how old is she? A uh, year and a half. Oh, so she's full size? Yeah, well, no, well, well it's funny because I, I took her to the bed a couple weeks ago and her growth plates are closed, but she was the run. So I don't know if she'll get much taller, but she'll fill out a bit more. So she might hit like 120 maybe or something somewhere in there. Yeah, they usually do. Like She's the runt though. I think if, her, if their growth plates are closed, that means they're done growing at height pretty much, right? Yeah. Unless the vet said so. Size, yeah. How, how old is she? A year and a half. Yeah. What are you doing, Lena? <laughs> you got all the dogs chasing you. That's what you get. They asked, they asked for it, right? Yeah. It's like the little sibling. <laughs> she just, uh, she's a nine-month-old. That's why it looks really good. Yeah, when we brought got all that puppy energy, she just loves running. It does, probably. especially when you have food as well. Like, yeah. So we just got uh, uh, Sally. Sally. Like we got this cool stuff. Oh, that's cool. Hi. Yeah, I know there's tons of stuff on here. Uh, you two and the golden beetle. They got a good vibe. Cool. <laughs> Recharge, huh? Come back to home base. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to, for bringing the water. <laughs> I got some in the car, but we're going to be here for a while, so it's good to have some in here. That's Pixie. She's an 18 month old Caucasian of Charka. 18 months, you said? Yeah. I think she's done growing to height, though. The best said her growth plates were closed when I went there a couple of weeks ago, so she'll fill out a little bit more. But she was the runt, so she won't be as big as her mom, who weighs 180 pounds. What breed is it again? Caucasian of Charka, also known as the Caucasian Shepherd or Russian Bear Dog. They're livestock guardian dogs. And that water went quick, huh? <laughs> She's like, come on, dude. <laughs> you got the drug right next to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Did you get kicked out, Pixie? Someone butt in line. <laughs> Pixie, come. You want water? Before it's all gone again? Pixie, come. Come here, get some water. 
Come here, Pixie. Pixie, come. Good girl. No. Good eye. Hey. Good eye. Oh, but should they're asking? He's asking for it. Good eye. Stop. Oh, you okay? You okay? Good eye. You leave her alone. I'm sorry about that. Totally yeah, that's like a kiss. So just... That's a good kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good eye. Just a little. Get over here. Hi, Pixie. Let's go. I don't like playing with you, huh? You're not too crazy for him or her, whatever it is. Jedi. <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> she came back asking for more, huh? She's like, don't leave yet. Give me a Navi. Jedi. <laughs> Is yours a boy or a girl? Boy. Boy, okay. You just wanted to play. Mine is too, yeah, believe it or not. Yeah. No Jedi. No Jedi. Oh, Abby, you like Jedi, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the cutie. Come on, Jedi. Come, come here, Matt. Leave him alone. You don't need to keep bothering him. Hey, come. Come on, listen. Leave him alone. Go. <laughs> Hi. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. That's Pixie right there. What is it? Pixie. Pixie. She's an 18 month old Caucasian of Charka. 18 months, wow. Yeah. She was the runt though. I don't think she'll get any taller, but she might get, she'll probably fill out, I'm sure. She's only a year and a half, so she, they usually fill out until they're about three. She's a runt? Yeah, that's what most people say when I say that. Her mom weighs 180 to put it in perspective, so. She's about 80 something right now, so she might get another, you know, 40, 50 pounds maybe. So she won't be as big as her mom, but yeah. people still think, you know, she's big compared to <laughs> other dogs. So, Wait, what kind of dog are you? Caucasian of Charka, also known as the um, Caucasian Shepherd or Russian Bear Dog. Oh, okay. Have you heard of a uh, Black Dolphin Prison in Russia? I don't think so. There, there's a prison where they don't have fences. They just send a pack of those dogs after them and they don't, <laughs> and they bring back proof that they did their job. Oh, that's crazy. So, yeah. Yeah, they're, I'm trying to socialize her a lot. Um, usually, what they, they I've heard that they hit a switch when they're about two or three, when they hit full maturity, where they become more like territorial and antisocial. So, but I, I take her to the park once or twice a week. You know, more so in the summer, obviously, than the winter. But um, and take her to other places like Shields and Home Depot and Lowe's and whatever socialization I can, as much as you can get. get done. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. I'm recording for her YouTube channel if you guys want to uh, scan the QR code on there. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I got a couple hundred subscribers and uh, a few thousand hours of your time. If you just use your camera, I should find it. It's also got the NFC tap on there. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. You want it? Thanks. Grab, that'd be awesome. Which one's yours? Uh, that one right there. The 
The one next to him? Okay. Right on. How old is he? Okay. Yeah, dog parks and other places. Took her to Yappy Hour a couple of times last summer up in the Salt Lake Parks and Rec. Salt Lake Parks and Rec has a Yappy Hour where they set up temporary fencing at big parks and they have like different vendors for different dog companies uh, come and set up, have a band. So instead of Happy Hour, it's Yappy Hour. They do it once a month for about four months in the summer. She was in heat though in the middle of that, so she didn't make it to all of them. But she's intact, so gonna wait till she's full maturity before I even think about fixing her. Yeah. It's better for their home runs and stuff, you know. Yeah. Pixie, are you asking for treats? <laughs> she can always figure out, I mean, they got, obviously, they got, they got dogs that smell good, but I can always tell when someone's got treats because she pays a lot more attention to them. Hey, quit begging. Go play. Pixie, go play. <laughs> She's like, if I look cute long enough, they'll give me, she'll give me something. Can she have one? If it, what is it? Uh, one of these, the Zoops Mini. Sure. Are they natural? I'm natural-ish. I feed her raw. I don't really care if she has one, ever, uh, something else every now and then, but yeah. If she comes back around, feel free. She'll sit for you, usually. Thank you. Here she comes again. <laughs> She's going to try again. Pixie, sit. Sit. Good girl. Did she eat it? No. Yeah, she's pretty picky. I feed her raw and I feed her uh, rabbit paws and chicken feet from Pine Hollow Farms up in Bluffdale. <laughs> so she's kind of picky on the processed stuff. That's all I got. <laughs> she's, she's like, what's all that other stuff in there? I don't know it. <laughs> Okay, Jojo will take it. Maybe. Pixie, quit begging. You didn't want it and she gave you one. Go play. I don't have any. Pixie. Did you, did you drop it right there or did Yeah. Right here. Good girl. You just didn't want it. Did you eat it or did you set it back down? Set it back down. <laughs> well quit begging then. Go play, silly. <laughs> Pixie dog. What are your dog's names again, Chris? Tatsu and Draco. Which one is which? Tatsu, black and white. Draco's the Draco. Okay. And that is that a uh, Siberian Husky? Uh, he's Malamute. Malamute. Okay, I always get them mixed up for some reason. And he's 100% a Gaudi Siberian. A Gaudi Siberian? Uh, a Gaudi Siberian Husky. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference between a Gaudi and so a? The Gaudi is the particular coloring. Okay. They're the second rarest. Okay, gotcha. Particular region they come from or something, I guess? So, I can't remember what the name of the particular um, tribe is, but it's up in the, uh, the northern... Uh, North Siberia Okay. Oh, so she's got kind of like that uh, chow mix look at the, the, the coloring of a chow almost. Play jump rope. He's getting better before he does something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Have you watched the other videos yet, Chris? I, I got at least one of them up with your dogs in them. I, I, I'm actually getting ready to. I'll be here uh, until Thursday, and then I have to travel to Arizona for a week. What's there? After that, I have to go out to Orlando for a week. 
Okay, that's where I'm from is Gainesville area. Okay. I grew up off the East Coast, so that was the last place I lived before Utah. Yeah. Too, yeah, I couldn't move back there with her though. It's too humid down there for her. Oh, yeah. oh. You guys, you probably couldn't stay there long either, right? I can't. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I either go during the spring or winter. I do not even try during the spring. Yeah. The, those double uh, they, they both have double coats, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, being, they're all the northern, the, the Siberian slash Russian slash northern, northern hemisphere <laughs> dogs with the double coats. We just, we just live in Arctic. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Arctic, that's a good, good, good term for it. Yeah, I thought about Texas, but isn't there drier parts of Texas? There but are those parts? But uh, what, it, what you get is you get dry and then humid and then dry and then humid, so it, it fluctuates back and forth. Oh, uh, and it would probably be too hot too anyway, right? Yeah. So um, I was in the central portions. I started off over on the Arkansas border in Texarkana, uh -huh. and then came across to Dallas. Dallas is gross. Okay. I've thought about moving into like northern Arizona, like up in the foothills, like Flagstaff, Prescott area. area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Prescott, uh, Sedona, all those areas. Yeah, I think I'm at Prescott more than Flagstaff's closer to Phoenix, right? Uh, I think it's actually a straight shot down the 17 to where Prescott <laughs> is. Um, you got a little bit of. A, I think it's a highway. Okay, I've just I've just googled like most temperate climates in the U.S. and those ones. That yeah, area pops up there. The yeah, but not like super cold. Correct. Heat up. And not not the, the heat of Phoenix. Correct. So. Hi, Pixie. You getting tuckered yeah, out already? I went to school down in Phoenix. And, yeah, I... Watch your... <laughs> you went to school down in Phoenix, you said? Yeah, I did. Uh, back when it started hitting 126, I was playing volleyball at midnight at 105. Really? <laughs> I thought I'm not that was like the it was like maybe 105 in Florida when I was there not 126 But dry 105 at night without the sun pounding on you it's actually really easy to handle Oh really? Yeah. Vegas has it sometimes too. Same yeah, way. I just didn't like the humidity in Florida though. Like you take a shower and as soon as you step outside you're all muggy and stuff again. Tired. Yeah. What's going on, Pixie? Huh? What are they barking at? I <laughs> do. What are they barking at? You know, the white dog over there. That's the only thing I see that. Well, they heard something that we can't hear far away, or smell something far away that we can't. Obviously, can't smell. Hi. <laughs> I'll give you some. I'm, I'm barking at you. You're asking me about what I'm barking about. <laughs> <laughs> there were five was over here earlier. I think I was being shooting. Was I being too nosy about what you're barking about? <laughs> Hi. Oh, they might have been barking at the baby coming in. <coughs> or the dogs with the baby. That group. <coughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> this one tends to dominate, by the way. It's not mine, but just so you know. The Siberian or the Malamute? How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. That's mine on your right there, the one in the pink collar. The Malamute? No, pink collar right here. She's a Caucasian of Charka. The Malamute, I just know because he's a regular here. 
his owners uh, over there with the dog on the leash. Nika, hey. No, you can't do that. <laughs> be nice. What, what was he doing? Or she? Uh, she nipped at him. Oh, first. nipping, yeah. I mean, she'll she nip back, but he probably don't want a dog bite. Hi. Hi. She's more entertained by the humans than the actual dogs. That's the way mine was at first, when she, like, this when she was like six months old. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. she's a year and a half, so she's more into the... She's more into the dogs than the people. When she first started going to dog parks, she would ignore the dogs. They'd all swarm her because she's intact, and you know, and she'd ignore them. And then she'd go around to almost every person in the place and post up on their shins and say hi and get some loves. <laughs> and then when she got all the owners down, then she'd go around to playing with the dogs. But oh, yeah. okay, I can play with you. now it's kind of the opposite. She just ignores the people and goes for the dogs. Great. Go play. There we go. <laughs> I got found a little one to play with. <laughs> it's interesting how the how the other dogs come to the owner of the one they're playing with for like protection or whatever. <laughs> uh, I've I've accepted it. When she was a puppy, uh -huh. she would come into uh, between my legs for protection. Right. So now when any dog does, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm same here. That happened with uh, her uh, a couple of weeks ago at American Fork Dog Park. There was this little black lab that was a puppy still and it would come to me came to me a couple of times during the visit when it got too too much attention but they just follow the scent of that dog of you know that on that human and figure out which which human they need to go to to get that dog to leave him alone So what kind of dog is? Caucasian of Charka, also known as a Caucasian Shepherd or Russian Bear Dog. They use livestock guardian dogs in the Caucasus Mountains area, Georgia and the surrounding countries that were part of the USSR. And then the, they kept wolves and bears away from uh, sheep, and then the Russians took them and used them as prison dogs and guard dogs. Good looking. Thanks. She's a puppy. She's a year and a half. Really? But she was also the runt, so I don't know how much bigger she'll get. She'll fill out, obviously, but her growth plates are closed, so she weighs about 80-something right now. And her butter, but her mom weighs 180, so that's why she's like, she, she's the runt. So I'm expecting maybe 120, 130 when she fills out. And I feed her Tucker's raw. I feed her raw, so she's she's lean. She'll probably stay that way. <laughs> it's a new one here, huh? You got another baby here. <laughs> I don't know where that bulldog came from. No, I'm like, <laughs> Do they come in the other 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 side over there or something? I don't even see their owner. Mika or Nika? Nika. Nika. Is she uh, uh, just a husky or a mix? A pure Siberian husky. Siberian husky. There's like, okay. Watch my step. So fluffy. Oh, oh, there you go. Hi. She's so fluffy. How old is she? <laughs> we were wondering where that bulldog came from. We're like, <laughs> did you come in from this side or something through the agility course? What? You must have came in through the agility course, huh? Cause we were over there by that door. I was greeting those people that came in over there. And all of a sudden, yours came over. I was like, "Oh, this one came out of nowhere." Friendly dog. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to play, Pixie. That's a little lower, <laughs> lower for the sniffing, huh? Stop. <laughs> all right, go Stella. I guess yours is kind of off and on whether he wants to be protective slash territorial or not, right? I don't know what it is. <laughs> you 
<laughs> at first it's, they seemed pretty chill and like they weren't worried about anybody around and then there we go <laughs> got him out playing huh How you doing, man? Oh, I thought you were someone that I, you were here before, right? Yeah. Yeah, over there we were talking to the bench that lady and a couple ladies. I <laughs> I don't come here that much. I take her to other dog parks, and she's got a backyard to play in. So we only got a few more days of niceness, and it's back to rain and snow every day, for, well, almost every day for about a week or so. Yeah. Not gonna be that much though. No, yeah, that's the thing about it. They they do that like severe winter storm warning, and it's like a couple inches, 20, 30 mile an hour winds. Like <laughs> I lived in upstate New York as a kid. Like I'm not. Or rain and snow. Yeah. Having fun, huh? Hey, how you doing? Oh, sadly, this is. How you doing? Well, are they white? Why, why, I don't know how to say it. it starts with a W. Yeah. What kind of dogs are they? Oh, these are great things. That's what I thought. Are they puppies? Uh, she's a, like over a year. She's okay, they just look uh, leaner than, I mean, she's bigger, but that one's. Yeah, they're, the breeder breeds them smaller. So oh, okay. That's good. That's smart. Yeah. I always thought maybe you fed them raw too, because that helps them be lean and live longer. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, not quite. Hey, puppy. Somewhere. I wonder if it also helps with the uh, bloat, because it's usually the shallower wider uh chests of the dog that they tend to get more problems with bloat yeah. you know about bloat right yeah, yeah mine's the caucasian of charka um the big fluffy one over here with the pink collar with the tongue hanging out oh, yeah. on the left side of that group yeah. so i worry about that too you know don't yeah. feed them don't exercise them like an hour before or after eating and right. that kind of stuff so right. That's how all my dogs died. Oh man, I'm sorry. How shortly, how soon after you fed them did they play, you think? They ate a duck. Oh. Yeah, Chance, his German Shepherd, ate a duck and it flipped his stomach. Oh, wow. But he probably, I don't know, he's an outside dog. Yeah, and I've, I've, I've done some research on that, and then, like, they still aren't sure if it's like the, the flipping of the stomach causes the, like, what's the other thing that happens? Like it cuts off the oxygen or something to yeah. the organ or something like that. Like they're not sure which. Shuts I, down all their yeah, I'm not sure which part happens first: the flipping of the stomach or the causes the other part, or the other part causes the yeah. flipping of the stomach. But too, so oh, they did the what do they call that procedure? Gas, gas something. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's a good point, though. I didn't think about because I, I control when she eats, right, and to a certain extent when she exercises. But if they find a duck or a wild animal or something and eat that, then all of a sudden they ate out of their schedule. And if you just exercise them or didn't know they inhaled something, <laughs> like like ate something quickly, and then you take them out for a, a walk or to a park, and all of a sudden you might have a problem. So they're just good kids, uh, not yeah. Right, right? Yeah, it's, 
dogs. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> that was random. Or I just walked into the conversation. Pixie, quit begging. Okay. Especially if you're not going to take her treats. Like her <laughs> treats aren't bougie enough. <laughs> right? <laughs> Spoiled dog. It's my fault, but it's better for her. Pixie, about ready to go? Pixie, this way. Uh, I think so, yeah. Thanks. Have a good day, guys. You too, thanks. Yeah, it is, thanks. I gotta go home and meet a potential new roommate. My landlord's bringing by, so. Oh, wow. I'll see ya. Come on, Pixie. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs>